the job. Money lending on interest is one form of enslavement. La ta'akulu riba adha'afam muda'afa. But there is that other part in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands in the Quran. Wa la ta'bukhasu nasa ashiya'ahum. Wa la ta'bukhasu nasa ashiya'ahum. If we were to use American English, what the Quran is saying, don't rip off people. Don't rip off people. Hmm? Don't rip off people. Bakhs, to make little, to diminish. Ashia eh? ahum, their wealth, their property, their value of things, do not cause it to become diminished and diminished and diminished and diminished. Well, when I started to work, I had a salary that I could use to buy a camel. That was the value of my income. But then something strange happened to the money I was using. And now after five to ten years, I can't buy a camel anymore. I can only buy a donkey now. Huh? And then another 10, 15 years later, the same salary, same work, can't buy a donkey anymore. I can only buy a goat. And then I can only buy a chicken. They call it inflation. The Quran is commanding you in this verse repeated three times in the Quran do not do this inflation is legalized theft of the wealth and the sweat of the people and it has come as an instrument of enslavement from those who want to enslave the world through their monetary system of bogus and fraudulent and utterly haram paper money. Paper money is haram. What if there are muftis who want to give fatwa? Paper money is halal. They should be allowed to do it. No need for boxing gloves. Those who want to accept that fatwa they should be allowed to accept it and let them go their way. And those of us who recognize the paper money to be bogus and fraudulent and haram, we should have the freedom to reject it and go our way. No need for boxing gloves. Hmm? But I have said it again and again and I want to say it one more time in Cyber Jaya. If you make the mistake to come after us with boxing gloves, when we say that the paper money and the electronic money is haram. See how they respond? If you want to come after us with boxing gloves and you want to silence us, prevent us from speaking, then we will show patience with you for as long as we can. And when we can no longer show patience, we'll challenge you. And shame on you if you don't accept our challenge. Come and raise your hands and let us raise our hands. If you are so absolutely certain that you are right and we are wrong. Come and raise your hands and let us raise our hands and pray to one who never sleeps. And who listens to every call. And let us ask him to cuss with an eternal cuss and punish with eternal punishment whosoever is wrong between us. If you have the courage, come on that day. But other than that, people must have the freedom. 
If you want to choose that nonsense, that paper money is halal, go ahead and choose the nonsense. But allow us the freedom to declare that for us it is haram, we don't want a part of it. Hmm? This monetary system Oh my gosh, we have time, but we are... As in paper money, as in ringgits and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same ringgit you have in your pocket, same ringgit that I have in my pocket, the same Egyptian pound and the same US dollar. Well, the last thing I heard about the US dollar was in some ICU, intensive care unit of some hospital in Washington, eh? Dying. <laughs> 